Thoroughbred racing update and the retirements continue to be announced and horses will be going off to the stud farm. And today's retirement is Vacoma. You bring the canoe because Vacoma is bringing the paddle. Yes, the paddler, spaghetti legs, whatever you want to call them, Vacoma retires with eight lifetime races, six wins, and kind of a lot of unanswered questions, but the raw talent and ability we're always there, and this is one of the reasons why I continuously will look for horses with paddles and club feet because they tend to not run very many races, and they have to space them out, and they usually only get three or four race campaigns, and you hear a lot of excuses. Oh, they're going to miss this race, and they're going to point for that race, and at the end of the day, you see seven, eight, nine, ten career races out of a lot of these horses. Vacoma, when you really look at it, he had two races as a two-year-old, three races as a three-year-old, and then three races as an older horse. He won all three of his races as a four-year-old this year. Dominated the Met Mile. Uh, most impressive race for me from a visual standpoint was the comeback race at Gulfstream Park, but his Carter race was nice as well. Of course, that was done on a sloppy surface. He took to that very well, as a lot of the candy rides do like the sloppy surfaces. Following horse racing for over 25 years, Vacoma, I think, had as much raw talent as any horse. And, and I think people just forget how fast this horse was. He just never really got to put it together besides the mile and the Carter handicap, which really didn't come up that tough, but it was still an impressive performance. Uh, you know, really the second race of all three of his campaigns was probably his best performance. His Nashua Stakes was fast as a two-year-old. That was his second lifetime start. And then as a three-year-old, he ran in the bluegrass and his second start as a three-year-old went wire to wire in that race. And then as a four-year-old, his Carter handicap came up, back with a huge uh, Brisnet speed figure and Equibay speed figure winning that Carter handicap. So again, that's what happens. And then they usually try to tail off in that third or fourth race of their form cycle with some of these horses with the paddle. So Vacoma, he does win a million bucks, $1.2 million in earnings, a two-time grade one winner, the Carter Handicap and the Met Mile. He did win the grade two Nashua as a two-year-old. He'll probably be in pretty good demand. He's out of a stakes winner and, of course, Candy Ride, uh, you know, starting to see if they can develop him into a sire of sires. Of course, a lot of the candy rides do have leg issues to begin with, so I'm not sure you want to breed down to another known paddler, but he'll get the mares, especially those first two crops, so we'll see if we can get some of the runners. And Vacoma retires with eight lifetime starts, $1.2 million in earnings, two-time grade one winner, and for his best career race, I think I'm going to have to go with the Met Mile. You know, he took on a pretty good field, Going into the turn, it looked like some of the horses were going to maybe come up, get near him, and then he just kind of spurted clear. It was a pretty impressive effort. Drew away some pretty good horses, McKenzie, Code of Honor, and, uh, you know, he beat Network Effect a couple of times to close off his career. Vacoma retired in 2020. Leave a comment. What did you think his best career race was? Uh, do you think maybe they should have tried to stretch him out for his final race? Maybe passed on the uh, Met Mile and took on the Whitney? Leave a comment, hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications as we lead you continuing news with Thoroughbred Horse Racing coming along.